Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is my end of the day on the first Friday after our contract hours, and um, it didn't get out of here, but I thought you guys might like a tour of our bulletin boards because sometimes I know it's really hard to figure out what to put on your bulletin boards, and I actually just figured out what I like on mine after eight years. So here's some ideas for you. So we're over in the corner of my room. We're actually behind my display board here. So this bulletin board, the kids don't really get to see very much. So I'm just gonna put some notes here that I might need to see and um, check out from my table, like our district calendar, grading calendar, stuff like that on that board. Up here, I have a collage of all of the senior show cards from all of our seniors when they do their shows. Here I have a collection of pins that I've collected and the kiddos have given me. And then here next to all of our projects displays, I have our all done board. And it says, it has a little reminders at the top, I'm done now what? Double check your work, sign on the front and class code on the back, hand in work on my class shelf, which is just here in some baskets, and all of our options that can rotate for our early finisher area. This is really nice when it can be self-sufficient for the kids and have some reminders, and all of my signs are paired with pictures so that my non-readers or younger students can see what it is. Next, we have our kind of a reference, a reference board. I'm just gonna cover up some information up there that's school dependent. So I've got some artwork from the kiddos up there, some information like my email address for the kids to use. And then we've got our projects every year. So if we have a new one, I'm gonna put it there and then I have like art teacher parking only. Silly sign, I'm gonna move closer to my desk. We do Youth Art Month every March. Doodle for Google is coming soon. Inktober, I'm gonna have to change that, returns October. Our art show is always in May. And then a silly sign that one of my friends printed out from their game, actually. This board, I'm gonna be updating. So I'll show you what's gonna go on there in just a second. This board, I have our kind of art process on. So this is a really good reminder that it might take time for the kids to plan their work and then make it. We always want to reflect on it before we share it. So those two steps are kind of hard for the kids sometimes. So it's good to remind them of that. This board is actually is going to be what moves over that away. So this tag board. I'll throw that up on my TPT if anybody wants an art tag, a good way to introduce critique, and then some of those things we might talk about, line, shape, form, color, value, texture, and space. Okay. So I'll show you what's going to go on that board. So on this board, I'm actually going to be putting this library sign for the kids to find their books that they want to a little bit easier. This is my little research area. So we've got some pictures and lots of books for the kids to use. And on each book, I have a like garage sale sticker that matches these colors. I'll show you what that kind of looks like. Just like that, so we've got our orange section, which is fiction storybooks. And just like I was talking about with non-readers before they can kind of see, it's about like those kinds of things, like that might give them an indicator of what that is, even if they can't read fiction. So that's gonna go up on that board by research. And tag is transferring over to that board along with a poster from the district for our new um, behavior. We're switching over from be safe, be respectful, be responsible. Another board I have in the room is this one, and this is really helpful for all of the kiddos, and it's right in the back, and it has principles of design, elements of art, and these are from Art with Mrs. E, I believe, and then we've got color, and then 
then we've got our color groups, our color families that are super cute. Color mixing and color wheel. So that's just a big reference board. And last but not least, this is part of my front board and I can put both of these up on TPT as well. But I've got you are an artist. A, always do your best work, R, respect yourselves, others in our studio, T, take your time, I, inside voices, please, a stay on test, T, take care of your tools, and then up at the top, on that little tiny bulletin board, I have all things artists can be. And I can put that resource on my TPT link down below as well. And of course, she's not on a bulletin board, but of course we have Miss Mona Lisa. Also, some friends I've seen ask how people display their color wheels. You saw I had a color wheel out back. But I also have this area of my room that's like the vertical files, and I didn't love how it looked. So I made, I painted a piece of muslin or really thin fabric and made a big color wheel with those color groups as well. And the students really enjoy using that as a resource and then i can still get into those big paper sorters as well all right i hope that helped you with some ideas for your bulletin boards and if you have any questions let me know in the comment below i hope you choose to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye